Welcome to Accent Your Beauty with Dr. Mark Berkowitz and me, Jackie Callen. Tonight's show, I'm so excited about, I say that every week, but tonight we're going to talk about using your own fat as a filler. So for people who maybe don't want to try putting other substances in their body or their face, how about using your own fat? Right, Dr. Berkowitz? So I love fat. Mm -hmm. So we spoke in the past about how you can get rid of fat. But the problem is, as you mature, if you get rid of the fat in your face, it makes you look much older. And so you want to hold on to that volume. And so fat was used as fillers for years, but it didn't last. And now we have some better techniques to make fat not only last, but to improve skin tone as well and to do some other special things that we'll talk about. But, but fat is in. Fat is in, <laughs> girls, so don't even worry about it. I mean, we want it to be out on certain parts of our body, but in on our face. Right, Sylvia? Absolutely. Beautiful that Sylvia volume. is back again with <laughs> us, and she's going to kind of help educate us on why using your own fat is a very viable option to fillers like Juvederm and Restylane. And uh, the only one that I think it won't replace is Botox, right? Correct. Botox is, is its own special, beautiful thing. Correct. So you're using fat to restore volume to the face. And fat um, lasts longer, obviously. It's there. You place it and it's just there, unlike fillers that are metabolized and you have to do touch ups and maintain. Um, fat is just there. So. so, what fat ends up happening is fat takes on its own blood supply. So, what people don't realize is fat is a living object. And it's not just, you know, sorry to say this, you know, chicken soup and seeing the yellow within it. Fat actually is has unique properties to it. So the cells within it are alive? The cells within it are alive and the cells that are within it, the more we learn about fat, it's just amazing. Fat has these little cells called pericytes around it. And so these little cells called pericytes, they actually turn on a whole cascade for, for healing and for rejuvenation as well. And, and fat is just amazing in what it can do for someone. Well, it sounds like you prefer fat as a filler to any of the other fillers that you can get that are synthetically made. So there's a lot of reasons to have the synthetic fillers. There are, but I do love fat. But, you know, sometimes for fat, you have to have a procedure. I can't just inject somebody else's fat. I need your oh, no. fat. No, you right? would not want to use someone else's fat. You, you should no. see the smile on my clients' faces when I explain that, yeah, to remove fat, we have to find a place in your body. Everybody, no matter how great they are in shape and they eat well, everybody has a spot of fat that they say, oh my God, just take, take, it, 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 take as much as you like. Take as right. much as you like. How much do you actually take, though? It's not like liposuction where you suck out a big You're volume correct. of it. So the, the beauty is, if somebody is having liposuction, well, that fat is liquid gold. And so I can save their fat and use it and inject it into their hands, into their face. And as we know, and very big now is in the gluteal region to inject fat. So you can inject your own fat in your butt instead of butt implants. You can you, use your own fat. Well, obviously, it's useful all over the body. Exactly. I mean, can you use it in your breast? Can you make your breast bigger? It can be used in the breast, and it can be used in the skin above the breast too. So if somebody has implants and they want a little bit more cleavage, it can be used. It can be used in the decollete area from the neck down to improve wow. that skin. What about the women that have that ptosis where they have the drooping there? Can you fill in that to give a little so bit nicer bust line? I, I don't perform that procedure, but there are doctors who do, and I've seen pictures that are worthwhile and others not, that, so, not so much. Yeah. So let's talk about price comparison. What does it cost to do your face with your own fat as opposed to using one of the popular fillers? Okay. So most fillers run somewhere between $600 to $1,000 per syringe. And a syringe is one-fifth of a cc, or excuse me, is one cc, which is one-fifth of a teaspoon. Okay. So gotcha. you usually need five syringes to equal a teaspoon. From the time we're 30 on, 
between loss of volume from our own skin, from the fat, and from changes on our own skull, we lose about a teaspoon of volume almost every year. Oh boy. Okay. So when I'm doing a, a, a liquid facelift for someone and using one of the popular fillers like Juvederm or Voluma, minimally people need around three to five syringes to see some effect. If they still want to look natural and turn back time, they can use 15 syringes. So 15 syringes times, you know, if it's $500, let's say, per syringe, so you're talking $7,500 on up, depending upon the fillers. Well, with fat, again, most people have a pretty good supply. I think we all have a pretty good supply. <laughs> and so for most people, depending on what I'm doing, I need somewhere between a minimum of 10 cc's of fat and probably a maximum of around 40 to 50 cc's of fat. So can you translate that into syringes so we can compare apples to apples? So, so a cc would be a syringe. Okay. So where I can place, you know, for somebody using Voluma or Juvederm or Belafil, um, five cc's or five syringes, mm -hmm. they'll see some nice changes. But again, with 15, they're going to see time turn back five or 10 years time. And so 15 syringes of fat or 20 syringes of fat or 30 syringes of fat, the price is basically all the same. Depending on what I'm doing, it runs around $5,000 for that procedure to remove the fat and to place the fat. Now, is it all done in one procedure? You take the fat out and put it back in at the same day, Sa the same, same time? Same, same day, there? same mm -hmm. time. Now, depending, it could be done as an in-office procedure because it's a tiny little incision. It's so small, in fact, that no stitches are necessary. Really? And you could drive yourself home. So it can be done in office if we're going, if I'm going after like 10 or 15 cc's of fat, I'll do it within the office itself. We still make it a very sterile environment. Or if we're doing more than that, then I do it upstairs in the operating room and I have two certified operating rooms in my office. Wow, so you determine that when you interview the patient, do a consultation, you see how much fullness they've lost, how much you estimate it's gonna take to fill that in. And then where do you take the fat? Is it different on each person? So each person is different. So 90% of the people point to their stomach, their belly right away and say, that's where I want you to take it from. Um, some people, thinner people, it's actually not quality fat for them. It, it, it can actually be more skin that we're seeing excess of than fat. Most people I can get from their back or their hip area, occasionally from inside their knee. Um, but there are plenty of places we can get it from. Now the question I would think is, do you see the spot where the fat's removed? And so are you going to have a little indented spot there where the fat was removed or no? You're not. So unless you're having liposuction at the same time, I'm not contouring the body. I'm doing it in such a way where I'm fanning. So it's an equal distribution. And so, you know, we don't want one hip being a little bit different mm -hmm. than the That's other what I side. Was thinking. That wouldn't look too great. <laughs> no. Symmetry. We Symmet want everything to be balanced. Exactly. Symmetry is important. Now, is it a painful procedure? Obviously, you said that you could drive yourself home, so you're not having anesthesia. Mm -hmm. So we have a system in our office called Pronox, and what Pronox is, is nitrous oxide, like many people know from the dentist's office, but it's an on-demand system, meaning we give you the tube, you breathe it in whenever you like, and if you don't need it, you don't need it. And it's interesting, around 50% of the people never touch it. And 50%, as soon as I tell them they can have it, they're breathing it in. They're, they're testing the system. That would be you, <laughs> right? That would be me Give too. me the gas. <laughs> Let me feel good and not worry about it. Yeah. So when you inject it into the face, is it similar to when you use the other like fillers? It's the same procedure, it, it, same needle, same everything? Well, for filler, when I use it, most of the time, both Sylvia and I, we use cannulas. So cannulas are basically blunt, they're not sharp, and so we, it helps us to place without causing harm to the surrounding areas. Sometimes we use needles as well, it depends on what we're doing. For fat, I exclusively use cannulas, 
And the cannulas are multiple sizes, depending upon the area that I'm placing and the size of the fat. So in the lower lid area, I'm going to place very small, less than 0.7 millimeters of each little nodule, if you will, of fat that's there. While the cheek may be more like one millimeter in size, but I don't go larger than that. The fat is very minute so that it's not going to die. I want it to take on a blood supply. And so the cannulas help me to achieve this artistry. Now, is it painful putting it in? Obviously, it's not too uncomfortable taking it out. So putting it in would be just the same as putting in any other <coughs> substance, right? Same any thing. Uh, yeah, and what I'll do is I'll make a little tiny uh, wheel, meaning almost like a TB shot, of lidocaine first. So oh, I'll freeze okay. the area first, so before I place the cannula, so that when I'm going underneath the skin, you're not feeling that. But most people find it quite tolerable. And especially when they see the results. And that's something that you see right away. You don't have to wait to so, see the results. So right away, you're going to see fullness that's there. But with any filler, it's not necessarily the end result. Sometimes we get a little bit more swelling than we would expect. And with fat, you do get more swelling, but we're also placing more than I would with a syringe of Restylane or Juvederm as well. So there is a little bit of downtime for people afterwards. Explain what Almi is. So Almi is a great procedure where we take fat even further and what we do is we create something called nanofat. So what nanofat is, is fat that's gone through filters. And going through this filtration system, what ends up happening is even though you look at the syringe and it looks like fat, it's really no longer fat. What's left is what's called the stromal vascular fracture. And what that is... Okay, is there a kind of name for that? <laughs> known as SBF. Okay, that's, that's a little better. But what that is, is really all of the goodness, the rejuvenating factors that are left, stem cells, these pereocytes that we spoke about, and they're all structure to rejuvenate. And so we'll look more at th that system, I think, in the next segment. But what I'd like to show is a video on the fat transfer now. I think we have two videos. And then I'll show you some pictures of patients that just had fat transfer alone. And then we'll talk more about Almi and really the incredible changes you can make with Great. that. Great. Let's do it. So I just finished having my Almi procedure done about 20 minutes ago. And I have to say that it was very, very easy. It was painless, it was fast, and I have to say that this was by far the easiest procedure I've done, and I'm looking forward to getting results from it because I know using my own body, I'm gonna be healing myself and rejuvenating myself at the same time. I just finished having my Omni procedure 30 minutes ago, and I feel awesome. I've never had filler before, and I've had a couple other you know, Botox, and I had a mini facelift at one time, and I felt really good after that facelift, but this is the best. You don't have to be nervous, you don't have to worry, there's no pain, and believe me, I do not like pain. And I'm 65 years old, and I want to live to be 120, so this is going to move me forward into my life, and I always want to look young. I feel like I'm going to have great confidence moving forward now. And after the procedure, which was 30 minutes ago, I looked in the mirror and I really didn't recognize myself. When people started asking me if I had a new haircut, it made me feel good because then I knew that it really looked like it was me. But they knew that something was different and it looked good. They noticed a difference. During the procedure, um, there really wasn't any pain. They took their time to numb my face, and so it really went pretty quick, and I wasn't uncomfortable. Compared to the fillers, um, this is long-lasting, so it's more cost-effective in the long run, and you don't have to wait for it to wear off and then re-inject. This is just a long-term procedure that is cost-effective. And one word of advice, my mom always told me, don't wait till it's too late. Do things when you're thinking about it and it's not so dramatic. Um, just when you feel like the time is coming, you're looking a little tired, it's time to do it. Oh, I feel like I'm 25 years younger now 
and I, I would recommend this to anybody. And now I can look in the mirror and I feel like I look a little younger than my age. Definitely All Me is the way to go. Thank you, All Me. So the video you just watched are three clients who went through the all me procedure. I like to think of all me being all you. So it's your fat and your blood spun together, but it's actually a acronym for autologous meaning from yourself, lipocyte meaning the, the white cell, micronized meaning we're breaking it down, injection is what all me stands for. But all three of these ladies you're seeing right afterwards and you're seeing the injections into their face and into her hands as well to help rejuvenate. Um, but let's take a look at the next video as well. So the videos are, are graphic, but and my hands don't move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> but that's sped up. But that's showing the Almi procedure as far as how I harvest the fat and then the fat going through the filters as well. And so that fat again becomes liquid gold. And we'll show in the next segment pictures of some patients that have gone through the procedure, the changes it's made on their faces, which are dramatic, and then talk even more about. All me and what, what the future is in regard to this fat. It's pretty amazing because, as you can see, these women look like they had a facelift right. and they didn't have a facelift. So it's pretty amazing what can be done short of going under the knife completely. So I want to hear more about All me and I'm sure everybody else does too because it might be your solution to looking younger, longer. We'll be right back. Surfing the internet can be good for your brain, especially if you're getting up there in years. UCLA scientists say that the internet searching helps to stimulate your brain function by triggering centers in your brain that control decision making and complex reasoning. In a study to be published in the American Journal of Geriatric Psychiatry, the researchers say that using the internet to seek out new information might stimulate the brain enough to sustain brain health and your cognitive ability. Before the computer age, the one activity that was linked to an active mind was solving crossword puzzles. The fact that even simple tasks like searching the internet might enhance your brain circuitry suggests that our brains are really sensitive to mental exercise and actually continue to learn as we grow older. So using an internet search engine such as Google produces the same brain activities as reading, but it also increases activity in areas of your brain that control decision making and complex reasoning. With another prescription for your health, I'm Dr. Jim Bragman.
we're back talking about fat transfer and what a wonderful procedure it is and how much it can help you look as young and beautiful as you did 10 years ago. What do we have next, Dr. Berkowitz? So, again, I, I just love fat. And, and number one, people want natural. And so using their own product, not something out of a box, makes them happy. Plus, people who get injected every year get tired of going through injections over and over again. So if we can give them a process that's going to last longer for them, it makes them even more ecstatic. So I'd love to show some before and afters of fat transfer patients. So this gentleman came to me and his whole central part of his cheek was collapsed. And as we mature, what ends up happening, we get a deflation right in the, the center part of our face. And so that needs volume. And then tightening is usually something we get sagging on the outside. So usually the two things need to be done together. But let's take a look at him after. And this is just wow. placing mm -hmm. fat. This is Great, just right? placing fat. And it's just, it, it's amazing. He looks like the other guy's son. Yeah. Yes. And if I, I placed for him in each cheek uh, around 10 cc's of fat, so that's 20 cc's, so 20 cc's of filler minimally, minimally would have been $10,000, wow. minimally. And so this is fat, this is going to last much longer than would any of the other fillers besides Bellafil that we'll talk about. Let's go to the next. So again, here, lady, great shape. But as you mature, if you don't have the body fat, it just makes you look older. So her friends who are maybe 20 or 30 pounds may look a little bit younger than her. Question, how old is that woman? Do you know? So I, I'm going to be off a little bit, but she was around 77. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So let's show her after. Wow. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to tell you, that I cheat a little bit with this one, but I'm going to tell you this is fat, but this is a facelift at the same time. Okay. And skin resurfacing. Okay. Okay. Well, so there you I, go. That That's to a me, dramatic difference. That to me is the trifecta of beauty. And what would that cost? You, so this would cost between twelve and eighteen thousand dollars to do all of this. And it lasts probably the rest of her life. It, it should last at least ten or fifteen years time. Mm -hmm. And so you know, this is something that if I just tightened her skin, she wouldn't look this good. If I just resurfaced her skin she wouldn't look this good but putting all three of these things together just makes a dramatic change beautiful let's go to the next so again before and then let's look at her after wow yeah this one's one wow, of my favorites that's yeah <laughs> that's incredible mm -hmm. did she also have a so facelift? she also had a facelift and also skin resurfacing okay. along with the fat as well mm -hmm. wow so. you really need to do mm -hmm. all three to get that to address all yeah. the concerns yeah and, and, and there are the times and there are times we can pick or choose but i always say one plus one plus one doesn't equal three it can equal seven eight nine or ten in regard to the changes let's go to the next pictures so this lady uh we used fat for her let's go sure in her lips oh. mm -hmm. in her lips and a little bit in her cheeks Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So you can use it in the lips as well. You can use yes. it in the lips, you can use it in the hands, you can use it almost well, You should probably do this when you're going to do more than one area because of the cost involved and everything else. You wouldn't just do it just for the lips, would you? The answer is I don't think it's a good idea just for the lips, but there are people who metabolize filler quite fast and so they can have something like Juvederm and they'll say three months later it's mm -hmm. gone mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. their fat will last it will last two three years at least two or three years at least the thing is you know fat other places will last even longer than that I tell my clients whatever we see at three months time has taken our blood supply that will last you a lifetime doesn't mean you won't need more volume in the future because you're going to lose other volume surrounding that area but areas that move like the lips are more likely to break down fat or any other filler as well. So I think we'll, we'll highlight a little bit more about the Omni procedure. I think we have some slides in regard to Omni and we'll talk about what makes Omni make fat even better. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have the first slide. We got oh. oh, we have.
so today what we're going to do is we're going to remove some fatty tissue, place it into your face, and we're also going to add some platelet-rich plasma to help in the fatty tissue viability and also with your skin too. So one day post-op, so tell me how you feel. Great. Can you see a difference yet? Oh yeah, big difference. Yeah. Did, awesome. you, did you sleep alright last night? Slept great. Alright. Factors to heal. So, so that video was of the gentleman we showed beforehand. To see him in three dimension, mm -hmm. you can really see the changes that I made for him in regard to placing fat. And again, that fat will be there for years to come. Now, to clarify, he did not have a facelift no. or resurfacing. He strictly had the fat transfer. He had the fat only. transfer with uh, PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, which is your own blood spun out to get growth factors. So that combination helps the fat to take its own blood supply as well and to help in the healing too. So you see he barely had any black and blueness. I noticed out. that right away. He wasn't bruised. He looked so natural. He was smiling. So mm -hmm. obviously he was thrilled as anybody would be with the results. What proportion of your clients, and this is what I would love to know, do the fat transfer as opposed to the fillers? So most want procedure today. And so most will do the synthetic fillers before they do fat transfer. And that's because we're in a now society. Mm -hmm. So I want results now. I want to leave seeing the changes. And when I'm doing a procedure like Almi, I have to set time up and so it takes usually an hour to two hours depending upon if the amount of fat transfer that I'm doing so I have to set up a time for them usually I can get people in a week week and a half out you know for a procedure like that so they don't have to wait that long but most people come in and they've gotten ready for a procedure then let's do it mm -hmm. and so most do the synthetic fillers well you know what it's interesting though because when you add up the synthetics I'm sure you agree, Sylvia, with how often you have to do them again. Absolutely. As opposed to the length of time that fat transfer yes. lasts, it's almost more cost efficient in a way to right. do the fat transfer one time, one shot. You're going to look great for two, three years. I think people, patients who are more um, knowledgeable and experienced with fillers are ready to do something more long term and understand that it is more cost efficient and less time consuming for them too. Not as much downtime because you, when you have filler, you go through the same sort of downtime as well. Yeah, I mean, I think what happens is when it's your first time or second time in, you're ready to get it right then and there. And then I think the realization comes in, I don't know if I want to do this every year. And that's when long-term fillers like your own body fat or Bellafil will come in. Now with Normal fillers, when I say normal, Juvederm, Restylane, mm -hmm. you see the results right away. You leave seeing the results. With fat transfer, does it take a day for it to show more? So with everyday fillers, I tell people when I hand them in the mirror that that's not the end result for them because there's going to be a little bit of swelling. And so it's not the end result, but they can see the change and you, the big smile comes. With fat, because of the amount of fat that I'm placing, because of the manipulation underneath the skin as well, they're going to have a bit more swelling. But as you saw this gentleman, you know, one day out, he looked mm -hmm. pretty good. Most people within two, three days, the majority of swelling is gone. It's rare to have that swelling for two, three weeks time, which is something that you may have heard of in the past. My question is, do you do more women, more men, or equal? Definitely more women for the procedures, but men are slowly catching up. And oh, yeah. because of my hair transplantation practice, more men are coming and having Botox simultaneously or a bit of filler as well. And, um, you know, some will will see that we during cool sculpting and we can do it during yeah, the hair it transplant. Same time. So, Well, I've noticed that. People are mixing and matching. They're saying, well, if, if I'm going to go in and get filler and Botox, then I might as well get a little 
cool sculpting or if I'm going to do sculpture anyways while I'm there you might as well plump my lips up right so people mm -hmm. are one-stop shopping try to get as much done as you can at one time now do you give reduced prices when people do um, multiple procedures oh, we definitely package yeah so we we not only offer zero percent financing if you need it but we also package procedures together so you know when we're talking about p people having multiple syringes the more syringes somebody's having during a sitting the more of a price break they're going to get as well that's a great point because i was wondering about that so if it costs a certain amount per syringe when you get above five does it drop and above it. eight it drops it things drops. like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. yeah yes. wow it, i mean for me i'm like thinking when can i get in and start doing <laughs> some of this and i know so many of my friends would feel the same way Tell us again where your offices are for people who haven't watched earlier shows. So we have two offices, and Sylvia and I split time. So one here in West Bloomfield, right across from Tapper's Mall, and the other in Sterling Heights, right across from uh, Sam's Club and the old Babies Are Us. Mm -hmm. Well, then there's no excuse. If you live <laughs> on the east side or the west side, I would make it a point to at least get a consultation with Dr. Berkowitz. Find out what you need. Find out what you can afford and go for it. You only live once. We'll be right back. Want to stay informed, entertained, and enlightened? Get connected and stay connected today to New Radio Media. The New Radio Media app is now available for download in the Apple and Google Play Store. Just search for NRM Streams for unlimited access to archived, live, new, exciting, and unique content. Welcome to Geektainment Weekly, all for free. Do it now. Stay connected. And action. And millions of ducks. Two guys go to newradiomedia.com. The Arts and Entertainment Channel. On new radio media dot com. What's going on in your neighborhood? They say it takes a village. It's the simple thing. The things that are a testament to the old. And the things that are a testament to the new. Know what's going on in your community. Check out our community channel on newradiomedia.com. It's all about you, and that's the way we like it. Where you're going. What you do to stay fit. What you're eating. What you're thinking. And how you're feeling. Join the conversation at NewRadioMedia.com's Lifestyles channel. Stream the life you want to live. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I'm learning so much about fat transfer and what a great alternative it is to other fillers that cost maybe a little less, but they certainly last a lot less. So let's keep talking. <laughs> so, so fat is just unbelievable, and now we're on a new frontier of fat. The new frontier of fat is nano fat. Again, where we take the fat, we bring it down into such a liquid that it's basically your stem cells and growth factors and orthopedists have been using it for joint problems to rebuild instead of giving steroid injections and we found that it helps to regenerate not just joints but can regenerate the face can regenerate hands as well and so this procedure in nanofat is really taken off quite a bit in my office and I, I'd like to show some slides on the, the procedure and talk a little bit more about it. So it's been in every publication now in regard to use of fat. Be, fat is big, 
in Hollywood and people are realizing that they want to go natural with their own product, if you will. Let's go to the next slide. And it, it's being shared all over social media. People are showing pictures of themselves and what they've had done. Next slide, please. So it can be used in the face. It can be used in the hands. We've spoken in the past how I use it to help build hair and inject it into the hair. But it's also been using for sexual wellness, both men and women. There are injections called the O shot, the P shot, the man shot, the fem shot. Is this like vaginal rejuvenation? It's, like it's vaginal rejuvenation. So it could be injected directly into the skin, into the clitoral area as well for enhancement of... And it doesn't affect sensation, correct? It improves sensation. Oh, wow. Okay, now what sensation. about for men? For men, it's said that it increases girth, improves sensation as well. And so these are injections that can be given both for so men and for women. So it won't affect length, but it will affect the width. It will, it more than likely will not affect length. Width is more likely to occur, yes. So let's show some more slides. So what we're looking at are three different women who had the ALMI procedure. And again, one of the things I want you to look at with ALMI, because again, it's the nanofat, it's not that fat that's injected as far as giving a fill is to look at their skin tone afterwards. They get an improvement in skin tone to the point that if somebody comes in and they've got dark circles underneath their eyes, we can inject it into their lower lids to get rid of the dark circles. So there's something called melasma. Melasma is a darkening of the skin that usually happens hormonally around pregnancy. Mm -hmm. There are lasers that can be used, but there's nothing perfect, but this can be injected into those areas too and can help with melasma. Let's go to the next slide. And again, we're looking at patients that had this procedure, their improvement in their skin tone, and this is going directly into the skin intradermally, not just underneath the skin to plump up the skin, but directly into the skin like a TB shot to help build it up. And so it nourishes the skin. It nourishes the skin. Mm -hmm. And many of the people out there may have heard of microneedling. Well, I can make a cream out of the fat, what I call nano cream, that I can microneedle their face. And so I'm in microneedling, I'm injecting their own cells back into their, their skin to rejuvenate. Now, is that the vampire so the facial? So it's interesting. The vampire facial that Dr. Runnels came up with is a great procedure. That is basically your own blood. That's the PRP part of it. Where the ALMI comes in is that it's the next step. Okay. It's adding the fat that has the stem cell. So the, the vampire lift is beautiful. It works. But this is a step above. Okay. Let's go to the next. And again, you can see the improvement. And look at the improvement of the skin tone as well for these clients. So it's brighter and healthier looking. Yeah. Right. It's just an overall rejuvenation of the skin because your own stem cells are, are coming back and they're turning over the skin. Next slide. So again, using in the hands as well. So, you know, people, they'll come and they have their face their done. <laughs> <laughs> and then they look down at their hands and they realize their hands are giving away their age. Mm -hmm. And so there are plenty of fillers that we use. So Radiesse is a great filler mm -hmm. that's approved for the hands. But your own fat improves that skin tone as well. And so at the same sitting as I do their face, I can do their hands as well build up their hands and you can see the difference this is the procedure just for hair if you look at their hair they didn't have any other procedures not using any other vitamins you can see the improvement in their hair with the almi procedure so it's something that i like to do for hair patients who are having a hair transplant i actually like to do it like two to three weeks before a hair transplant so i get these cells ready for the new hair that's there so that they take on the hair but they help with the growth too so it's, it's tremendous, the changes that can occur from this well, I procedure. I wish that was around when my mother and grandmother were young because <laughs> women looked so much older in the past than mm -hmm. how they look today. Well, people say they want to age naturally. Well, aging naturally, you don't necessarily look youthful. 
And so it's, they want to look and have their friends think it's natural. How about saying that we're going to age gracefully? Gracefully. That's the word to use. That is it. That doesn't mean without a little help right. from Dr. Berkowitz. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I think we have to demystify the fact. Mm -hmm. Plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery is nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be the best you that you can be. And, th and that's it. It's when you look in the mirror, are you happy? And if you're not happy, can you make the change? And it's a, an affordable change. I mean, the, the cost of cosmetic surgery has gone down dramatically. And, you know, again, with 0% financing, we can make it where it equals your cup of Starbucks coffee, you know, each day. That's to, so to tempting. Get something <laughs> that is so, just <laughs> hearing that, it, it makes me wonder, why doesn't everybody do what they can? Are there other fillers that are natural as well besides fat and the Juvederms and the so, Restylane's? So there are other fillers that are natural, but not necessarily that you're getting from your own body. So y for the past few years, they've been trying to build your own collagen, and there have been several labs, and I've, I've been doing this for over two decades, and I have worked with clients where we've taken skin from behind their ear and sent it to these labs to grow their own collagen. And really? it's never really taken off. It's never worked all that well. It's expensive. And so when people, you know, bypass their own fat and blood, then to go to a long-term fillers, they can go some, to something like Bellafill. Oh, Bell I've heard about yeah. that. That's very effective, isn't it? It it's is. It's a great filler. It's a great filler mm -hmm. for somebody who says, you know what, either I don't have the body fat, I don't want to have a procedure. It's a procedure where we use Bellafill is actually based within collagen, so the collagen fills the skin right away, and then there are these little nodules or crystals, I should call them, called PMMA. They're these spheres, and these spheres build your own collagen. And so it's injected with collagen, that collagen dissolves, and then these spheres will build your own collagen around them. And it's an incredible filler because they went to the FDA and said, don't look at us for a year. We want you to look at us longer. And they had the FDA look at them for five years. So they did clinicals for five years. Five that years. Long they, they went to that expense for five years. And what was found was not only is the, does the filler last and is still there at five years, but it was found to be the safest of all the fillers. So, really? now, so question would be, how is the pricing of that compared to, let's say, Juvederm, Restylane, and your own fat? So Bellafill comes as a kit. And as we spoke before th with syringes, it's five within a kit. And I think of it more as a process. So when a, somebody comes in to me, they're purchasing a kit. And with that kit, they're getting about a cc of volume so they can see a difference right away. And we can always build upon that kit for them. They're not renting that filler. They own it. Okay. And so it's there. Mm -hmm. And whether they come back a year, two, or five, or more, that filler is still there, and we can build upon it as well. And what's the cost? So the cost for a kit runs around $4,000 for a kit. And so comparing that to a filler like Juvederm, which is around $800 a syringe, where five syringes are around $4,000 as well, okay. that's going to last you a year. Mm -hmm. So I think it's priced very well. I think you're ahead of the game after one year if you go with a filler like Bella Phil. Well, I think that's the important part of going to a doctor that you trust, who has a good reputation, mm -hmm. who will sit down with you and decide what's right for you. What's the best plan and you have different for options. you? Do you have dry skin? Do you have oily skin? Mm -hmm. Are you 40? Are you 70? What are you hoping to achieve? How much do you want to spend? You pretty much customize the mm -hmm. program for each patient. Every staff member is attuned to what the client wants. Uh, Sylvia is fantastic at her artistry and looking at the client and working with them in their budget to find out what's going to be best for them to make them happiest. And, and that's what it's all about. It's about education and ultimately making people happy. Right. Well, I imagine you see a lot of patients that come to you who went to somebody else first. It happens. And are, you know, like they're botched and they come to you and they say, can you fix this? Is that something you see often? It happens. It, it, we, see, we see people 
I would say at least once a week somebody walks mm -hmm. in who's come from somewhere else. Um, and, you know, it's not that it's botched. Right. The, you know, many times it's they weren't educated and it's something that once they're educated, maybe they understand a little bit more what the other doctor did. And mm -hmm. many of the doctors in our area are fantastic. And so I'll get on the phone, I'll call up the doctor with the patient's permission and, and work with them to find out what we can do to make this client happy, either through me or th going back to them. Because that's what we care about is that the, the client's happy. Do you have to set their, the right expectations? Do you have to talk to the patient, see um, what exactly they do know about the product and the procedure? If, you, if you're not meeting expectations, you're not on the same page, it's when you're Well, I think that's the happy. key right there realistic mm -hmm. expectations and that applies to any procedure right from head to toe surgical mm -hmm. non-surgical a yes. good doctor and a good nurse a good technician will explain to you what you can realistically expect and what you can't expect you can't bring in a picture of some movie star and say this is how I want to look I have five hundred dollars to spend mm -hmm. unrealistic Mm -hmm. So I think it's important that you point out to each patient what's achievable for them. You know, if you're a 70-year-old woman and you want to look 40, that's probably not going to happen, correct? Probably not going to happen mm -hmm. unless you've got amazing genes. We're, most of the time we're turning back time 5, 10, or 15 years. Which uh, is realistic because yeah. the worst thing is to have a young, tight, pulled face and an old, saggy body. Right. So you want everything, again, symmetry, right. balance. Symmetry and harmony. Mm -hmm. You want mm -hmm. everything to go together. You right. don't want a young, tight face with a very old, flabby body. Right. Or vice versa. These women who are in great shape, and yet they do nothing to their face. So their body's gorgeous, and you look at their face, and you can see that that could use a little bit of work. It happens on a daily basis. And, mm -hmm. you know, again, we do it in a way that when patients come in and clients come in that they understand exactly what can be done for them from head to toe if they want to hear it. But <laughs> it's an exciting process from it beginning is to end and so it should ma be maintained that way. Um, so just communicating with patients and giving them options, listening to them, it should, it should be fun. <laughs> it's fun and it's addictive because <laughs> once you see what you can do, you want to do more. Mm -hmm. We're going to be back with our celebrity segment with Callie in about two minutes. Maple Lane Golf Club is a 54-hole golfing treasure located in the heart of Sterling Heights. Maple Lane Golf Club offers immaculate greens, a top flight pro shop, and inexpensive green fees. For convenience, book your tee time online at maplelanegolf.com. Come out and enjoy a great golf experience. Try our nine and dine special, nine holes of golf, and enjoy food and refreshments in the Clubhouse Bistro. That's Maple Lane Golf Club in Sterling Heights. Check us out at maplelanegolf.com. At Murray's Park City, we're known for offering customer service you won't get in any chain store or online. But don't take it from me, just listen to what our customers have to say. The employees at Murray's are knowledgeable, courteous. They make you feel like you're at home. Pick up a can of Seafoam Fuel System Treatment for only $6.99 or a 5-quart container of Mobile One Motor Oil for just $28.95. Murray's Park City and Pontiac Trail at Maple Road in Walled Lake. We've got the parts you need when you need them. Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm David. Join us for fun and adventure on our new show, Podquesters, where we fight through imaginary battles and pray to the dice gods for good rolls. Yes, it's an epic sweeping adventure. We try to fulfill our destinies without driving the Dungeon Master crazy. I thought that was the point. Anyways, check us out here on NewRadioMedia.com Fridays, Podquesters. See you there. Hi, I'm Art, and we're the crew at Tuffy Walled Lake. We've been in Walled Lake for 20 years, and through our knowledgeable staff and customer satisfaction, we've become quite the cornerstone in our community and to our discerning customers statewide. We know how important your vehicle is to you, and we take pride in our impeccable, affordable service, and we're trying to get you back on the road as quickly and safely as we possibly can. Please stop in and see why everybody comes from all over to get their car serviced at 784 North Pontiac Trail in Walled Lake.
Okay, here goes our fun segment where we look at different celebrities and try to guess what they've had done. And uh, Dr. Berkowitz is an expert, and he can pretty well tell us what he thinks they've had done. <laughs> so first up, we have Britney Spears. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She has changed quite a bit. <laughs> she has. So, listen, first is part just maturity and not having that upkeep. You know, some people think of fillers and good skin care as normal maintenance, as having your hair done. So when we look at, at Brittany, she's definitely lost volume within her cheek, but somebody, I think, has placed volume, but poorly for her. So the volume should actually be closer, the high point, toward the corner of her eye, and her high point is right next to her nose and in the lower part of her cheek, and that's something you would see more in an 80-year-old woman. Wow, and her lips definitely look... Well, her lips... They were filled. They were filled, and again, we don't have that beautiful ratio. It's one log to another equal about, and we really want to see one to one person, but, but they don't have definition. That upper lip, mm. she's lost any kind of definition. Where, where is the cupid's bow? And her vermilion kind of just slopes as well, and... It, it she just doesn't look healthy arrested mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. looks like she's had a rough ride okay who's next bruce oh jenner oh caitlin okay. jenner oh my goodness uh i thought this would be a fun one because it's a man transitioning into a woman um. so boy where do you start where do you start so <laughs> so you know transitions happen a lot and you know, as far as is he pulling it off, I, I think, you know, when you see him from afar with makeup, he looks fairly good. She looks good, I'm sorry. Uh, but when I look, you know, at some of the changes that were done, she definitely had lip filler. Oh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. And the lips were heads, and the lips are not terrible. No, they're not. They're not. The cheeks. The cheeks are. There you go. The cheeks are, again, as I said earlier, the cheeks to me are the, the center point. I look at the cheeks and I look at the eyes. And so her cheek needs to be elevated a little bit. So where it meets the, the tear trough with a lower lid, that slope needs to be elevated just a bit. But that's something that still could be accomplished quite easily for her. Um, look at the eyes. They look slanted, like they've been lifted on the corners. So, yeah. They, yeah, she had a canthoplasty. Uh, so some people call it a cat eye uh -huh. procedure where there's a tightening of that canthus. Supposedly feminizing. I, I think it looks a little bit more feminizing than in... It when looks like she's had a brow lift as well, doesn't it? Definitely. You see that? Yeah, yeah, definitely a brow lift was performed and... The hairline has been brought down as well. Yes. So I think this was more. the same procedure um, because if you look, you can see the natural hairs coming out. And so more than likely, she had a coronal lift so that the hairline could be brought down at the same time as bringing up the brow. That's a lot of work. How much oh, yeah. money do you think it costs to go from the left to the right? $100,000? Um, well, in Hollywood, they charge more. Um, it was probably between seventy thousand to eighty thousand dollars, but she also had a facelift, and she ended up with a pixie ear. If you look at her ear, it's pulled down. Yes, and right. it's not just the hanging of the lobe. Uh, the lobe that's there. It that lobe is pulled down. That could be fixed as well. Okay. That can be fixed as well. You need well. a lot of work, sweetheart, but we love you. And Who's we can, next? Oh. We can fix her neck still too. Oh my gosh! Oh, yes. Let's yes. go. So this is another icon, uh, Gwen Stefani. She's beautiful. She is. You can tell with her nose. Her nose has been brought in. Yeah, so her nose definitely, um, her face is definitely slimmer. And this is an interesting thing that most people don't realize. You can slim a face by placing filler in the right areas. Really? So I have a population of ladies who come to me who are Korean and their faces are more square 
And the last thing they want is to have a larger face, but by placing filler appropriately for them in the cheek area, I can slim the face. So her face has been slimmed down by placing filler appropriately. I think her filler looks really nice. It does. She I, looks beautiful. She looks great. That So far, she's the best. Yeah. So who's our last but not least celebrity? Oh, another. Oh. John Stamos. He is yeah. handsome in both pictures. He aged beautifully. What do you think he did? So his jawline has changed. Now, his jawline could have changed just from age alone. It is fuller. Yeah. So, but if you look at his chin to where it meets the area of the jowl around there, I, I think he may have had an implant placed to round out his jaw. Um, as far as the rest of him, he looks you know, pretty good. He looks good. His, mm -hmm. you know, his brow is down. It's a manly brow, so I don't think he necessarily had Botox. He has glabellar lines that are there. Um, I would need to see him in motion. His hairline is still fantastic. Let's just say he looks great. <laughs> he does. He's a good-looking guy. And you don't have to be a celebrity to improve your looks. The fact that they have the money to do it, and they probably do it more frequently, if you live locally and you're not a celebrity, but you think of yourself as kind of a star, go see Dr. Berkowitz. Let's see what we can do to make you look younger, prettier, and more like the you that you want to be. We'll be back next week to give you more tips and ideas on how you can be the more beautiful you. See you next week.